Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another video. And this time, this is a simple sort of repair video, uh, not really a tutorial, but uh, so I have this DMG and I desoldered this jack out because uh, this has a very common problem. So it worked through headphones, but when no headphones were inserted, there was no audio coming through the speaker, no matter what the position on the volume control was. And so when I actually opened this up and I unscrewed this board, when I looked at the jack, it was pretty obvious what happened. Now, this board probably was in a, I'm guessing, left with the batteries in or something. And some of the battery acid actually leaked and it went downwards and you could see the jacks all completely corroded. So we're actually going to pull this open and see how these jacks work and see if we can actually clean this off and get this working again. Now, one thing to note is I did end up desoldering both the um, the four pin ribbon from the Game Boy and then I desoldered the jack. Um, and I used some of this uh, desoldering braid, some solder wick, and that worked a treat uh, to get both of those desoldered pretty easily. So this just popped right out after that. So. Uh, here's the jack itself, and you can see corrosion's like all inside there. We're going to try to non-destructively open this guy up. And most of these uh, connectors are actually kind of press fit in. And there's, I guess what we can start off is the back, where you can see kind of the most corrosion. There's little metal tabs here. And I'm going to try to, uh, let's see, let me use this little pin tool uh, get underneath those little metal legs here and lift them up. Now, you probably could fix this without even opening it. Just spray a lot of contact cleaner inside and hope that, you know, keep inserting a jack and hope that it, it gets to the contacts inside. Uh, that may or may not work, and that may or may not work long term either. Uh, but I just wanted to see. I've never actually opened one of these up. So we're just going to get that out as much as we can. There we go. So this piece now should kind of start popping up. Looks like there are little tabs at the top as well that hold it into the plastic. That kind of need to free up. So we might have to actually insert something. Okay, a little bit of prying later with uh, this little pin tool and some pliers. And it did pop out, and you can see just how badly corroded that is. Now, it does luckily look like it is mostly surface corrosion, but it does look like um, it got through the nickel plating. Next up, there are a couple of um, pins, and these are for these two legs sort of and those should just kind of pull out now give me one sec yeah before you pull out there's another little flap um, for each of these that you need to kind of poke inwards and then you can pull them out and then before you insert them you need to re-push those ears back out those are just sort of retaining clips Okay, so I got the two rear pins out. You can see here this is uh, like a little contact area here. And it, it is a little bit cleaner here. You can see, I guess, from inserting a jack. Now, the headphones did work. So these electrical contacts were clean enough. Uh, the ones that actually contact the three poles of the headphone jack. However, it was the switching mechanism that, that didn't work. So that's what we're trying to figure out here. Now, the only other pins are going to be these right up in here, which I believe this is actually what contacts ground. And it's going to be the same idea. Uh, we want to uh, poke in. There's going to be little fingers holding these in. And these are actually badly corroded, so I'm going to need to scrape these a bit and pull them straight out. Give me one sec to do that. Okay, now these last two ones in the front actually have to push upwards in order to get them out. 
and they were a little bit difficult and because they're so badly corroded they they stuck in so i actually had to put the jack upside down and very slowly and carefully push from the bottom and you can see this one in particular is really badly corroded and this one on the other side which i believe is one of the the jack insertion detection switches is pretty badly corroded as well actually kind of surprised even the headphone portion worked at all uh, anyway, all we got left in the jack now is just the plastic body, and there's a little, it appears to be some kind of, like, white Teflon piece. And that's, um, when you insert the jack. I'm going to simulate that by using this. You can see there's that little white piece that moves, and that is sort of, I guess it's like nylon or Teflon. Uh, it's going to be like a low-friction plastic, and that's what actually presses the metal contacts to make the... The connection now what i'm gonna do actually is scrub all these i'm gonna well first off probably drop them in some vinegar to react any battery acid away i'm gonna do a second bath in isopropyl probably in the ultrasonic cleaner and then i'm just gonna take like a steel wire brush to it or something and clean them as best as i can uh the the plating is actually gonna be gone on these likely so even though I might be able to get them to work by, by cleaning them, it's probably going to be temporary, in which case I would need to nickel plate them again to prevent them from re-corroding uh, just with moisture in the air. Uh, because underneath the nickel plating on these contacts is very likely copper, just bare copper. And once that reacts, uh, once that's exposed, it, it easily corrodes just with normal atmospheric moisture. So anyway, let me get on cleaning these. Okay, they look a tiny bit better, um, a little bit shinier, but not perfect. Anyway, we're just going to go in the opposite direction and reassemble everything and then give it a final spritz with some contact cleaner. Okay, switch is reassembled. Now I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of the process, it's just gonna be me re-soldering this. I'm gonna solder this back in and solder this back into the Game Boy and we're gonna run a, a quick test to make sure that audio does indeed work still. Okay, as perilous as this is with all this metal stuff on my desk, I have it. the Game Boy sort of splayed out. Uh, the screen is dead, so there's nothing to see there, but I have a speaker plugged in and I have the new jack installed and I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't have any uh, AA batteries to hand I can easily find right now so I'm just going to power it off of this 18650 uh, which even though it's like about 4 volts it'll definitely power up the Game Boy absolutely no issues there and I have a uh, copy of Link's Awakening in there as well so all I got to do power it on Volumes all the way up. I heard the Game Boy ding. And there we go. So that is indeed working. And if I were to plug in headphones. Oops. Let's see. Get one of them in my ears so I can hear. And I'll hold the other one up to the camera. Let's see there there we go <laughs> that was very loud so yeah uh, speaker works the um, headphone jack still works boots up just fine and so yeah and it's come through this little tiny speaker right here so yeah in summary, if you have a, uh, a DMG, actually, the same process would work for every single type of, uh, of Game Boy, uh, older Game Boy, like Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, and the DMG uh, that uses these uh, switch jacks. And your speaker's not work. either your speaker or your headphones aren't working, uh, but the other one works. Uh, chances are very likely that your jack has some corrosion on it, so you're going to need to 
Um, you can either disassemble it like I did. Um, th that gives you kind of the greatest uh, long-term repair. If you just want to squirt some um, contact cleaner, like I have some, here's some Pure Tronics uh, Extra Strength Contact Cleaner. Uh, you can just spray that. Uh, I would get like a Q-tip uh, just to make sure and unscrew this and do it outside the case. But spray, spray that right up into there and um, use something. You can probably actually use just a Q-tip. Uh, it'll fit sort of in there and just sort of move it around in there to clean it. Or if you have a, probably the best thing would be if you have a broken pair of headphones, if you have the jack from that, spray a little contact cleaner on there and work it back and forth and rotate it. And that'll actually scrub the contacts as well. Uh, but uh, that being said, I, I think actually opening it up and manually cleaning all the contacts by hand is the, the most surefire way to get it up and running. And as you can see, audio was nice and loud. It worked. Uh, before, there was absolutely nothing on the speaker audio, only headphones, so this is an improvement. But anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this really random video of me just fixing the audio on this uh, this DMG uh, with pretty bad corrosion, and now you can see it's relatively shiny and clean. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.